Today I had my worst water mission so far. I had to walk down a summit, going after a lot of sketchy terrain, to eventually find a tiny stream dripping. It took me ages to fill my bottles, and the whole mission took me about an hour and a half. This morning I went to Pangi to resupply. I uh, got pretty lucky with buses and uh, hitches. I must have been pretty tired yesterday when I checked how many days of food I needed because I thought I thought I needed uh, four and a half days and I actually only needed uh, three and a half days. So I'm carrying an extra day of food and also carrying uh, 4.5 liters of water because there is a long stretch without water, uh, basically a day and a half. So yeah, the backpack was pretty heavy <laughs> this afternoon, but I uh, got some nice views. Ah uh, yeah, quite a few thunderstorms, eh? Yeah, it's been going on for like 20 minutes now. Oh yeah, it's going to be quite a night. Today is really nice and warm. The difference of temperature from one day to another is quite something. And that's a trail. I was thinking of visiting a temple that looks pretty cool, that's two kilometers away from where I slept. But that would add at least two and a half hours to my day, and since I plan to be in town tonight, I need to be at the end of the stage before it's dark so I can hitch to town.
today is town day hopefully tonight i can get to mangyong i think it's called get a room there resupply get some rest uh, i'm not going to zero just probably have a late morning uh, maybe i can find a new cap in town because i just lost mine today uh, this morning i'm not quite sure when and how but uh, yeah can't find it so and of course it is a very sunny day so yeah hopefully i can find one in town tonight so far i considered this trail to be pretty much vertical with very very little flat A little did i know i had seen nothing yet Today, the elevation gain and loss is even more brutal than usual, to the point it's almost comical. It's physically the hardest hiking day I've ever done, and I'm not going to lie, I got scared a few times. There is a lot of climbing, and at some point I'm not doing more than a kilometer per hour. So yesterday I managed to arrive at the end of my stage just in time around 5.30 p.m. and it's getting dark at 6 p.m. So I got a ride to Mangyong, I got a room there, did some hand washing, I got some rest, I got some beer, did some uh, grocery shopping for 7 days so my backpack is pretty heavy now. I struggled a little bit this morning to get a ride back to the trail, I couldn't find a good spot to hitch, I waited about an hour I think. Today I need to go around the trail closure, it took me a while last night to figure out a way around it. I decided to leave the trail a few kilometers before the closure, just so it's way easier for me to go on the other side of the closure. This way, I don't need to spend a full day struggling with hitches around the mountain. The thing is, the trail supposed to make me avoid the closure is closed, and it has an elaborate barbed wire installation just so you get the point. It's not like I have a choice, so I take it anyway and somehow manage to find my way back to the trail. No kidding! This morning I am facing another closed section, but it's actually possible to walk around it without having to hitchhike. It takes me about 2 hours, which is what it would have taken on the closed section.
day for lunch I should be able to get to a village and get some proper food and maybe some beer.